And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to tell you about one of the earliest keyboard instruments, the predecessor of the piano. It was called the clavichord, and it originated in Germany. It was triangular shaped, as you can see, and that was derived from the fact that the strings, the longer the strings, the deeper the sound, the shorter the strings, the higher the sound, thereby giving it that triangular shape. The famous composer and organist Johann Sebastian Bach was among the first of the great composers to write for the clavichord. I would like to play for you now Bach's G. tell you about a more elaborate instrument of the 17th century, the harpsichord. And I'd like you to come with me now and meet a composer who wrote especially for the harpsichord. His name was Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The harpsichord had one very distinct advantage over the clavichord. It had further sets of strings offering greater tonal contrast to the music. Here is a composition that Mozart wrote especially for the harpsichord, and it's called Rondo a la Turc.
harpsichord remained the most popular keyboard instrument throughout most of the 18th century. But there were still many improvements to be made. And most of them were developed by a man named Bartolomeo Cristofori. He developed what he called the piano forte. Piano meaning soft, forte meaning loud. Later on, it was simply called the piano. It had many shapes and sizes, but the most popular was the square shape or the spinet. The spinet was very popular during the time of Chopin. Chopin used to play this kind of piano in all the fashionable salons of Parisian musical society. I would like to play an excerpt of his famous polonaise, 